What's up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Kia. And today, we were supposed to be doing a mukbang question and answer, but I ate the food. So we're here. Um, but I'm going to be showing y'all how to do this beat face. So make sure y'all stay tuned if you want to know how to beat your face. We're here. I'm about to be doing a beginner's friendly makeup tutorial. And I'm going to tell y'all, just like I tell y'all in any other makeup video, I am not an MUA. I am not a professional. I'm going to show y'all how to beat y'all face as a regular girl. Like, just know this is going to be easy. But anyway, we're about to jump right into it. So I clean my face and I put a little lotion on my face. Now, I don't know about y'all, but I got the dry skin in the world. And when my skin dry under my makeup, it make me want to scratch it and it be feeling like it's cracking and itchy. I don't like that. So I grease my face. And then this is the primer I use. It's by e.l.f. Y'all, this was like no more than $5. And I love this. I feel like this right here made a big difference in my makeup. Um, But from the title, you can tell that this is going to be a question and answer. This is going to be a question and answer video slash a beginner's makeup tutorial. But I'm going to really be answering questions and opposed to talking y'all through everything. If y'all got questions, comment down below. And then if I feel like it's an important uh, an important step, then I will, you know, talk about it. Okay, so I asked questions on um, Instagram and I'm just going to go through them. A lot of them I'm probably not going to answer because y'all be asking crazy stuff. Stuff that it don't even deserve a... Uh, it don't even deserve attention. But I'm going to try to answer the best to my ability. Um, let's start from the beginning. I didn't realize it was this many. Actually. Mm. Okay, the first question starts off with, where are you mentally? If you watch my last video, you know, like... Mentally, I am all over the place, but I am working on, you know, getting myself together. I'm not just moping around, um, even though I have my days well. I just, you know, don't want to do nothing. I'm forcing myself to get out the bed. I'm forcing myself to do some type of work, something productive. Um, I went to church for the first time in years, and I cried my poor heart out. Um... So mentally, I'm getting it together, but I'm nowhere near where I would like to be. Um, the next question, are you ready to give your baby another sibling? No. Mm -mm. I don't know. Like, maybe it was because, you know, well, I won't even say that. I'm just, I just, I'm not ready for a another baby i don't really want more kids but when i get married i'm the type that i know compromising is a big thing so i will compromise and i'm not totally against it so that's something that i will agree to you know with my husband but as of now oh no that ain't i'm cool i'm cool baby um the next question is how do you stay focused? Baby. Y'all, when y'all use this, I use a black pencil because I just like it darker. But you got to be careful because you'll be looking like an angry bird. How do you stay focused? Baby, I don't. I be. I'm, I have to remind myself to start back doing whatever I was doing at least four or five times. And <laughs> that's not a good thing. That's something that I'm working on. But that's just what it is. Like, I'm not even going to sit right here and sugarcoat it and tell you that I'm focused. But I know it's um some pills y'all could take to stay focused. Well, I don't know. Like, you just got to, you know, work your way onto staying focused, I guess. Um, What are some great mindset goals? How to get your life in order after turning 18? At 18, you still a baby. Honestly, like, and I, I never 
you know, thought I would say that because at 18, you know, 18, you still a baby. 18, that's the time where, that's where you have your room to make mistakes, trial and error, learn what's for you and what's not for you. That's when you learning yourself, I feel like. So, you know, at 18, I would highly suggest y'all not to have a baby focus on yourself. I would highly suggest you try whatever it is you want to try. You don't have to make, you still young. So try whatever it is you want to try. Um, how are you mentally after your grandma passed away? And I'm sorry for your loss. I had a few questions about this and I'm going to, you know, answer it once. And I'm not going to answer no more about her because I don't want to cry and mess up my makeup. And if y'all know, I've been crying in every freaking video. Um, <clears throat> with my grandma... A lot of you know my grandma was a lot. She meant a lot to me, my family. Um, and it's a healing process. Every time I think I'm okay, the next day I realize I'm not. And I think that's with everybody in my family because she was really like our rock. Um, so we're taking it one day at a time. We're taking it one day at a time. Grieving has no time limit. And, you know, we just... We we trying, we we getting up, we doing as best as we possibly can be doing, I guess. Um, but it's hard, and you know, we getting through it though, as a family. <sighs> and we just gonna leave it at that. Um, the next question says, "What is your next out of the country trip?" I honestly don't know but i know i need a vacation soon um but whatever it is it ain't gonna be as long as bali bali took us 30 hours to get there my next trip it can be no more than 10 11 hours that's the that's the max um but i do want to go to the uk i've never been to the uk i want to go there um are you in a relationship yet yes i am in a relationship um if you know, you know. If you don't, you broke. But no, I am in a relationship. Um, the foundation I use is NARS. I am in a relationship. Um, I don't want to put it on my hand because it'd be hard to get off. But I am in a relationship. Um, we like Nelly and Ashanti. Uh, we rekindled something that I did not expect to happen. Um... But it's been good, so we just letting it, you know, play itself out. So, but yeah, y'all, it's a Nelly and a Shanti lick. I'm trying, I don't want to squeeze it too much and bring too much out. Where do you see yourself in the next five years? Mm, I hate that question. Um, but before I get into that, y'all, when I put the makeup all on my face... I take a flat brush and I go like, I rub it in so it could be in my skin. I rub it in just like that before I start dabbing it so it could be like everywhere, I guess. This works better for me because I feel like when I don't do this, so I feel like when I don't do this, I feel like um, it just be like spotty, like not spotty, but it don't be blended good. It don't be like looking like skin. So I do this first. Make sure it's all over my face. And then when I get close to my eyebrows, I use a smaller brush and make sure it's neat around my eyebrows. But back to the five years question. Um, I see myself figuring out what my purpose is in life. Um, I think I kind of know, you know, what route I'm taking but I just want to be sure I just want to be confident in my career or in my whatever y'all want to call it I just want to be confident and know this is what I'm here to do um also I want to be spiritually mentally like all I want to be so well rounded that you know I move through life gracefully I move through life without questioning nothing like i moved through life knowing you know so much more than i know now um over these last few months 
I've been, y'all, I've been so emotional. I've been off the charts emotional. I've been very vulnerable. I've been, like, I feel like since I lost, my, even before I lost my grandma, I feel like when I lost her, it just, you know, really just put the icing on the cake. But I feel like I'm shedding a skin, if that makes sense. I feel like the way I've been acting, the way I've been handling problems, the way I've been you know, handling myself, the way I've been treating people, everything is just like, it's new. It's just like, I'm growing. I'm growing. I'm listening. I'm understanding life more. I want more. I want to be more in contact spiritually. Like, I just want, I just want, I just want to be mentally at my best. Like, one thing I learned was money and career and all that. That's not the only thing in life that matters. That's not the most important stuff that matters. When, you, when you're when you right within, everything else just flow. Everything else gonna, like, is going to just come along. Like. So, you know, I'm just waiting for, to reach that point where I just feel like, okay, I am gracefully moving through life unapologetically myself knowing who and what and you, like just knowing everything about myself at this point i feel like i've been through a lot um i feel like i've been through a lot i feel like i've matured a lot and i feel like i'm still learning so in five years i want to be at that stage where i know i'm not well I, throughout life you're going to always be learning but i feel like in five years i want to be where i want to be let's just put it like that um, what does your everyday life look like now? If you watch my YouTube, you'll know. But my everyday life, um, <laughs> get up, get my kids ready. My kids, I call try to my kid. Um, but I get Kay ready for school, make sure she's good at school. Kay is number one in her class. Shout out to us because last year, baby, we was... We had a lot going on. Um, I make sure my dog is good. My dog is my son. I love him. So I make sure he's good. He's fed. He's, you know, went on his walk. Um, I check in with my business. Um, I've been also checking, you know, getting back into like my promo, my brand ambassadorships because I just completely started ignoring that email. Like I've just completely just... I wasn't I wasn't in the right mad state and I wouldn't even want to take anyone's money knowing I'm not even finna promote at my best, if that makes sense. Like I don't wanna take your money if I know you know it's not gonna help or you I just like I don't wanna do that. But you know, I'm getting back to myself and I'm getting back into my content creator bag. And yeah, so on the everyday thing, I'm just I'm learning, I'm growing, whether it's you know, spiritually and mentally and just trying to better myself, better my attitude, better the people around me. Or rather it's, you know, I'm trying to figure out how to get to this money, how to be a millionaire, a billionaire. So, yeah. Um, I think I did this one. I just want to say I love you and your mom, Bomb. It makes me miss my mom. She's in heaven. My prayers go out to you. And thank you so much. And, you know, whenever you want to share my mama, just come on down here, boo. Will you do interviews on your channel? I've been said I wanted to do interviews on my channel. Um, so before I get into that, y'all, I like it a little lighter under my eyes. I figured I like something like that now. Um, I like my sponge to be a little damp when I'm blending my concealer. And, yeah. Um... So when I do interviews on my channel, I keep saying I want to do that, but I don't know. I just it's just never the I don't know. I I hadn't really put too much thought into it. I would say like you know I've said I want to do it, but I haven't you know pushed the issue. Describe your best friends in three words. Um, Keisha. In three words is sensitive. Sensitive, um, <laughs> Keisha would be sensitive, loving, and fun. India would be sweet, 
stern and <laughs> um I don't want to say wild but sweets India would be sweet stern and fun like y'all we be having a blast together we be having a blast but both of my friends are really sweet um Keisha is really sensitive don't don't look at her too hard you gonna hurt her feelings um and India is just a really 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 sweet person like when you get to know her and if she love you she's really sweet um let's see this isn't a question but can you start posting more I love you so much I'm working on it boo I promise you I am how did you and your boyfriend meet me and my boyfriend met in 2000 and um, 2000 and I want to say like 18 he knew me before I knew him um but we met through a mutual friend he shot his shot and we tried it it I think we was together for, we wasn't together for more than a year but when we when we went our separate ways it was like no ill no ill feelings because it was like he was a good person we just wasn't we just wasn't I feel like we just met at you know the wrong time like we both was you know not mature um, we both had hard times communicating and it just it just didn't work um so we met back up and we've been locked in since we met back up a few months ago so we've been back talking well we've been back because talking no that's my man we've been back together for like four months um how to get out of, how to get out of a funk anxiety and depression you have to literally get up literally get up once you get up i don't want my make i don't want it to look too bright because then i'll be looking crazy but it look good in the mirror um but y'all once you get up and make yourself brush your teeth do your hair like put on some even if you stand in the house put on some matching pajamas that's gonna make you look cute do that clean your house make sure your space clean your room, whatever it is, make sure your space clean. Right. Um, just get up and do productive stuff. It'll make you feel a little better. And the more productive stuff you do, like the greater you're getting, no matter how small it is. And that's what helps me. Even though it's hard, you just got to get up. Um, what is your biggest turn off in a guy? I hate a guy. I got a lot of turn offs. I got a lot of turnouts, but um, before I get into what I my turnouts, um, this is the contour palette that I use. I've been using this since I started doing my makeup. I feel like this is the best for beginners. I get it from Walgreens, Walmart, and I like the the powder. Powder is easier to blend than cream, so yeah. Um, but anyway, my biggest turnoff. I hate a man who has like too many femi feminine traits. I hate a man who just won't uh, won't let a lady, you know, get in touch with her feminine side. Like I can't even be soft with you because you're so hard and you want to be the woman so bad. Like that's a total turn off. I hate a man who's disrespectful. Um, I just like I have a lot of turn offs, y'all. I'll be all day naming my turn offs. Um, but I just, my biggest thing is a man, the way they approach a woman. Like, a woman can't be soft around her man because he's too busy trying to be a B-I-T-C. He's too busy trying to be the woman or he's too busy trying to compare and, like, nigga, let me, let me, let me relax. Like, but yeah, that's a turn off to me. Like, let me be soft. You ain't got to be hard with me, boo. Um, what are some goals that you want to accomplish? I want a warehouse for my business. Um, I want to get this digital planner out for my girls and for me because I want 2024 to be crazy. Um, what else? I want to get back into trading with like the stocks and crypto. Um, and I just want to be so 
mentally stable and like I won't even say mentally stable because I'm not gonna say I'm mentally unstable, but I just want to be so well grounded that so that things that get to me now wouldn't even phase me. Like I just want to get to that point where I can truly say I'm bothered without being bothered. Because a lot of people say they're unbothered, but things and it and it, it could be anything, but things do you know bother me. Also, y'all, I also use my Couture palette for my eyebrows. The same color. Yep. Um, can we get a day in the life of a dog mom? Sure. It ain't too much, man. Charlie be chilling. Charlie is a really chill dog, and I love that. I love that he's a chill dog. Um... How do you keep your friendships healthy? Do you do check-ins, self-checks? Um, so me and my best friends, we talk every single day. Me, Keisha, and you talk every single day. Um, but I do have other friends. And yeah, I feel like when you get older, you realize that people have a life outside of your friendship. You feel, you understand life be life in. Um, also, so you understand life be life in. You be, I feel like you have to be considerate of your friend's feelings. And it's so crazy because um, me and India actually talked about this. And I think our last video that got deleted off of my camera that I'm still upset about. So we're not going to get into that. But um, me and India have been friends since we were maybe 16 or 17. Um, and we had a few falling outs, but that was because we, I feel like we didn't respect each other's feelings. We didn't communicate well. Um, so, you know, when we would get mad at one another, it would be something so simple and we would just like, like handle it childish. But now at this big grown age, we almost had a, like a falling out, not even a falling out, but we almost had a disagreement and the way we handled it, it surprised us both. Cause we was like, you know, how did that make you feel? Well, I'm sorry if I made you feel some type of way. You know, that's never my intent. Like, be kind and be considerate of one another. Understand that everybody got stuff going on. So, I feel like you have to really, like, you know, if you love your friend and you want to make it work, because I love my friend and I'm not coming up off my friend. So, I'm not I'm not one of them that be like, if it work, it work. No, I need my friends. My friend's been there for me through whatever. So, like, you know, you have to be considerate of their thoughts and their feelings. You have to be mindful how you speak to people. You have to be kind and compassionate. And I feel like that's what, you know, me and my friends are. And we've been friends for over 10 years. So, you know, you but you grow and you learn and you know, you know your friends. So, you know, when you moved to ATL, did you know anybody before moving there? Yes, Keisha and India both moved before me. So they were the only people that I knew when I moved here. Who are some of your favorite YouTubers? Um, my top YouTubers, my friends, I'm automatically say my friends. So y'all already know my friends. My friends, I, I watch all my friends YouTube channel. Um, I love Kyra Amonique. Um, I love Aaliyah Face. Um, and that's all I could think of right now, off the top of my head. I'm not doing vlogmas, y'all. Vlogmas is too much. Uploading a video every day. That's insane. Um, how did you meet India? Kaylee dad is India's cousin. Um, so when me and him started dating when we was 15, y'all, she tell the story all the time. She sent me a friend request on Facebook and I didn't accept her, but I, 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 don't, I don't think I was really checking my Facebook at that time. Y'all, for my under eye, I use this. It's called, what is this called? It's called Inglot, I-N-G-L-O-T. They only have it on Amazon that I know of, but I love this for my underline. And I, I always like black. I don't care what color I'm doing. I have to get black underline. It just... Make it pop to me. That's just my preference, though. Y'all should do it, too, though. Um, but anyway, um, she claimed she sent me a fair request on Facebook, and I took a year to accept her. She's dramatic, though. I honestly didn't see it. 
Um, and then, so after that, we had met, because I was going to their family functions. And we had met, we had met at um, a family function. And me and her were the only versions around. So we, we were the only versions. And we started calling each other best friends, like, on some funny stuff, because we was the only versions. And then, um... But after we started talking and getting to know each other, we started getting really close. And I can't talk and do this. So hold on. Okay, y'all, so I did my under eye. Y'all can see. I just used a brush and used this. And make sure you put the top right back on because once it go back, it's over with. But I just, I love that look. Um, oh, until I put the top back on with my top. Okay, here we go. Um, so we, what was I, oh, so we, so we, me and her ended up getting pregnant around the same time. If y'all know Scott and Kaylee, two months apart. And so we was pregnant together and that brought us way more close because we was both pregnant for the first time. We was both very young mothers. So, you know, that brought us closer together and after that, it was just a wrap. Like, that was my girl. Like, so we did and did all type of stuff together. But it just worked. Um, what's your favorite memory of your grandmother? Y'all, I honestly don't know. My grandma, my, like, we spent a lot of time together. So I don't think I have a favorite memory. I don't know. Probably her taking us out of town because we went on so many trips together. Um, I don't know. I have too many favorite memories. Like, that was my girl. Um, why Kaylee be effortlessly eating you up like that? Because she Kaylee. Have you ever been jealous of your friend's success? Usually I would ignore questions like this, but, you know, I'm not going to ignore it only because I see it happening a lot. But, first of all, if you know me, Hold on, y'all. I had to get a closer mirror. When I do my um my lashes, I like to do it one by one like this. Because I hate when I make a mistake and touch. So this just helped me. But I take my time with this part. But um, if you know me, you know I love to see people around me doing good i i'm not one of them people that scream girl power and you know be really a mean girl if you know me and if you've been around me you know uh i did it if you know me, if you've been around me you know i love that i love seeing the next woman shine i love seeing a woman happy and love i love seeing a kept woman like that type of stuff that 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 makes me feel good so on top of it being my best friend like, I will never, ever have any ill intent towards neither one of my best friends. Also, if you ever met India before, she's so lovable that you only want the best for her. She's so genuine and so kind that you can't want, like, you can't even want no ill towards her. Like, on that best friend, when my friend hurt, I hurt. So, don't hurt my best friend because now you hurt me. Um, so, I hope that answers that question. I never, I love my best friend. And little do y'all know, baby, it's going to be more where that came from because, like, just know it's a lot more coming. And, baby, I love it. I'm her biggest cheerleader. But even before the famous stuff, any of my friends will tell you, I'm I'm my friend's biggest truly. I'll be like, yes, bitch. Like, yeah. So I feel like when you know somebody, you know, like, that can never be in my blood. And then, especially it being her, you, you can't wish ill on somebody who's just so pure and genuine and just so sweet and no. Um, let's see. If you can change anything about yourself, what would it be? 
If I can change anything about myself, it will be... I don't know if y'all can see me, but I'm still putting on my mascara. If I could change anything about myself, it would be um, probably my attitude, how I react to stuff, um, how I react to stuff, how I let things upset me that's out of my control. I just want to be so happy and so, you know, to the point that, like, so, how can I explain? Like, so, it is what it is. Like, I don't want to worry so much about things. I don't want to, you know, stress myself out about things. I really want to be one of them people that's just like, like my little sister. She's so, baby, she don't care about nothing. She don't care about nothing. She be like, well, it's out of my control now. Ain't no use to getting mad. She's so, she so nonchalant. I mean, I I kind of love, like, that I'm a passionate person. That, you know, certain things, like, you know, I like that. But sometimes it gets overwhelming. I kind of got mascara on my bottom. Use this Juvia's. Juvia's, uh, Juvia's blush. Oh, shit. Break my damn camera. Dang. I need to buy me another thing. This is how my brush look. I don't like too much blush only because I feel like it, I don't, I don't be wanting to look like a clown. So I tap it, dust it off, and I lightly tap. Um, y'all, this is the, oh, I broke my top. How did I do that? This is the finishing spray that I use. It's, um, the Charlotte's Tillsbury Airbrush Flawless Spray. This is how it looks. I love this. This gives you that airbrushed look and your makeup be looking like raw. Do this fan work? It's dead. Now for my lips. Uh, where is my pencil? I use this pencil from Yana Royal. I love this pencil. Y'all, honestly, I hate putting it on my top lip only because I feel like my top lip is already so dark. But I still will put just a little... And then what lip gloss? I use this lip gloss. I want it a little lighter. Whatever. Oh, let me see if I have some more questions before I log off. Are Kaylee and India cousins? Yes, they're blood cousins. Mm. Do you think you'll ever get married? Yes. Marriage is still a big thing for me. Um, I feel like at this age, I would not date nobody who I wouldn't consider marrying. So, yes, y'all, my boyfriend now, I want to marry him so bad. Mm. Mm. 
Mm. Yeah. And I want to put some gloss on top of that. Do I have some gloss with me? Oh, I should have put this on, y'all. I really do like this. Y'all yeah, finna put this on. I got this MAC lipstick. I don't know. It just gives me more of a grown look. So let me, let me fix my... I love this pencil because it's so pigmented. You barely have to... Yes, I love this. It's the finished look. I need some good lightning. And this makeup was so quick and easy. If y'all got any questions, make sure you comment down below. I still want to put some gloss on my lips. So, hold on. Let me see if I can find some. Oh, here goes some. This is the knockoff Dior, I think. Whatever. So, yeah. This is the finished look. Y'all see how the the Charlotte Tillsbury just made it like like pop. Yeah. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this makeup tutorial and make sure you like, comment, subscribe if you like this video. Make sure you share it and thank y'all so much for watching. I don't wanna tell you to drop it, but I don't wanna.